Do you ever look at people and have a real, like their eyes are, like I can do it with you, but some people you look at and their eyes are far apart Sometimes. or they're close together and you find that you're only looking at their left or right eye. It's a little, the Cyclops is tough. <laughs> I'm Kelly Stoltz, and I'm here at Amoeba Music in San Francisco today. The first thing I grabbed today was this, a weird video that has Roxy Music Live and T-Rex Live. You get about seven songs from each one, and they're both totally awesome. And basically the Roxy music is uh, with Brian Eno. He's got feathers on, a scarf, a lot of lipstick. You know, he's really uh, flamboyant on stage. And they're pretty much like the best band of all time that I've ever seen, you know. For five minutes right there, the couple of songs they do are just amazing. This is a guy called Van Duren. And uh, he's from Memphis. And there is some kind of a big star, uh, Alex Chilton. Uh, connection with this guy and this was just recommended to me by a friend yesterday and I heard a little about it but I never heard it it's uh, kind of if you like Todd Rundgren or Big Star or 70s uh, power pop this is for you I guess so I'm gonna give him a shot it's called are you serious two records I was excited about are the reissues of the Dukes of Stratosphere this is the uh, 25 o'clock and this one's called Sonic Sunspot. And these were the guys in XTC under a different name in the mid, middle, mid 80s. And they kind of just made these two super psychedelic records that kind of sounded like uh, all the bands they loved when they grew up. Like the Hollies, the Beatles, Kinks, and beyond. So this is reissues with extra tracks, demos. Uh, let's see, records. This one I got to give to a friend, this is Big Boy Pete. He's a guy named Peter Miller, who uh, is an English guy who now lives in San Francisco, and he runs a recording engineering school here. And uh, he's just really made these awesome pops, psyche pop songs in the 60s. He played with the Beatles like 130 times, George of the Stones. Uh, Peter Frampton was in his band for a while when he was like 16. Uh, the other one I got is Jackie McLean. Strange Blues. I always pick up a Jackie McLean record when I'm here because uh, he's awesome. He's one of my favorite sax players, and I never seen this one from like the late 60s. This one is Sometimes I Wish I Was a Beagle by uh, Bill Callahan, also known as Smog. And uh, this was a request from a friend of mine to, to, get a, uh, to get her a gift while I was here, so I'm giving it a shot. Some people said I sound like that guy in my voice, so I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I'll be the judge of that later this evening. This is uh, Sagittarius, which is uh, Gary Betcher and, or no, it was a Kurt Betcher and Gary Usher, who are LA soft pop dudes, 60s. Just kind of a random grab. This is uh, more from the jazz section, John Coltrane, Hank Mobley. Two tenors, how can you go wrong? They both could play fairly well, and we'll see how they play together. Uh, this one is Into the Hot by the Gil Evans Orchestra, and uh, this is cool, like big band jazz, kind of dark and strange. The last thing I got in my bag was the last thing I grabbed today, and I've been looking for this for a while, Richard Thompson, uh, Henry the Human Fly from uh, Fairport Convention. Solo record. So you've been, how long have you been looking for that one? Well, a couple of years. I almost uh, caved in and bought a reissue of it. But uh, I wisely put it away. And for just two more dollars, I can have the real thing from 1972. So I'm, sometimes there's records like that that are like, you just know, I just let it come to me. And sure enough, here it is. So. 
Well, thanks for showing That's us. That's what's in my bag, man. Yeah, we appreciate it. Thanks, Kelly. Yeah. Be bah!